Subtraction of numbers from 10 to 20. Hello children, I am the parrot. Welcome to this video. Let us see what we will learn in this video. In this video, we will learn how to subtract numbers up to 20. Today is 15th August and all the children are buying kites from the market. Chotu is also going to buy kites with his friend Sonu. Sonu, come on, let us hurry, otherwise all the kites will be sold. Yes, Chotu, let's go. Sonu, how many kites do you want to buy? I want to buy three kites. Today we will fly kites all day. Yes, Sonu, I too want to fly kites all day. I will take eight kites. We will have fun all day. Uncle, give me eight kites. And also give two reels of thread. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So children, Chotu bought eight kites. But by now, the shop was left with no kites. Now Sonu got sad and sat under a tree nearby. Hey Sonu, why are you sad? Come on, you take three of my kites. Thank you Chotu. Come on, let's go home and fly kites. Yeah, yeah, come on. Chotu was going to fly kites on the terrace. When Chotu's mother called him and asked how many kites did he buy. Chotu said that he bought eight kites. But gave three of them to Sonu. Can you tell me children how many kites are left with Chotu now? Yes, now Chotu has five kites. Today, Chotu's friend Sonu has come to his house. Sonu has brought something to show Chotu. Come on, let us see what it is. Chotu, Chotu, look what I brought for you. Show me, Sonu, what did you bring? Look at this. My grandmother gave me a box of pencils. It has pencils of different colors. Wow, these look very beautiful, Sonu. Can you tell me how many pencils these are? Yes, these are 16 pencils in total. Oh, so many pencils. Sonu, will you give me some of these pencils too? Okay, Chotu, I will give you four pencils. Sonu, you gave me four pencils. This means now you are left with fewer pencils. Can you tell me that how many pencils you have right now in total? Yes, yes, I will tell you. First of all, I had 16 pencils. Out of those 16, I gave you 4 pencils. So, out of 16 pencils, if 4 pencils are removed, then the remaining are 10 and 2. That is 12 pencils. Thank you, Sonu. So, children, in this video, we learned how to subtract numbers up to 20. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtracting numbers. Till then, bye friends. Interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 10 to 20, part 1. Hello children, in the previous video we learned how to subtract numbers up to 20. In this video we will see some more interesting examples of subtracting numbers. Children, today Chonu has got his mathematics paper. He is on his way back home from school. I don't know how many marks I got in my paper. I will go home and ask mother. Chonu, today you got the result of your exam. So tell me how many marks you got. Mummy, I am unable to calculate how many marks I got. Will you help me with this, Mummy? Yes, Chotu, why not? First of all, tell me, what is the maximum marks of the test paper? 15 marks, Mummy. Now tell me, how many mistakes you made in the paper? Mummy, only two mistakes. Two mistakes? That means two marks less. Chotu, if you subtract 2 marks from 15 marks, then you will come to know how many marks you actually got. Okay, Mummy. I will do it and see. The paper was of 15 marks in total. Then I subtracted 2 marks from it. Mummy, I got 13 marks in total. Well done. 
Very good, Chotu. Chotu, tomorrow is the first day of your new class. So today you must separate all your used notebooks and new notebooks. Yes, Mummy. Hey, not like this, Chotu. First of all, count all your notebooks. So I have 17 notebooks now. Now separate those notebooks which are used. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 notebooks are used. Now subtract the 5 used notebooks out of 17 notebooks. Tell me how many new notebooks you have. So out of the 17 notebooks, if we subtract 5 notebooks, we are left with 12 notebooks. Well done Chotu. Now keep the remaining notebooks separately. That was all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of subtracting numbers. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtracting numbers up to 20 and some common mistakes that should be avoided. Till then, bye children! Interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 10 to 20, part 2. So children, in the previous video we saw some interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 1 to 20. In this video we will learn some more interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 1 to 20 and some common mistakes that should be avoided. Today Chotu and Aarti have come to the market. Aarti, do you know where the bangle shop is? Yes, Chotu, there is a bangle shop at the end of the market. But why do you want to buy bangles? Aarti, I want to buy bangles for my mother. How many bangles do you want? Aunty, we want 16 bangles. Here you go. Chotu and Aarti go to Chotu's house with the bangles. When they opened the box at the house, they saw four bangles were broken. Looks like they broke on the way. Aarti, see what happened. Four bangles are broken in the box. Chotu, now how many bangles are left? Come on, let's remove the broken bangles one by one and count the remaining bangles. Removed one from 16 bangles. Now we are left with 6 bangles. Hey, but it looks like we have more than 6. Hey Chotu, you are counting it wrong. So friends, let us see why Aarti said this. 16 consists of 1, 10 and 6 ones. And when we subtract 1 unit from 16, then we are left with 1 10 and 5 ones. That is 15 bangles. This means that if you subtract 4 bangles from 16 bangles, then we will get 12 bangles. So Chotu has a group of 10 and 2 more bangles, that is 12 bangles in total. Okay, now I understood. Thank you, Aarti. Children, tomorrow there is a math test in Chotu's school. Chotu's mother has given him some questions. Chotu, you already know that what this sign means. Yes, yes, this sign means minus or subtract. Come on, then do these questions and practice for tomorrow's test. Mummy, I have done all the questions. Hey, Chotu, all your answers are correct except for one. Which question, mom? If you subtract zero from 16, what will you get? Come on, let us see. See this, there are 16 dots. Now, out of these, we have to subtract zero dot. Now, tell me, what does zero mean? Not even one. So, when we did not subtract even one of the 16 dots, then how many dots are left with us? 16 dots, mummy. Yes, Chotu, you are right, 16 dots. So, actually, this means, Chotu, if we subtract zero from any number or if we subtract nothing from that number, then we get the same number. So kids, that was all for today. In this video, we saw some more interesting examples of subtraction and some common mistakes. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Bye friends.